thank you for joining us today. And first time, you've been in a lot of NBA locker rooms, but this is the first time being in your new locker room. How's it feel? Feels great. I, I, I'm just getting the tour of every place that, that uh, is relevant to what my life's going to be, and uh, I, I just can't wait. It looks great. Now, you mentioned in the press conference earlier that uh, coaching jobs are about the right fit. Why do you feel the Kings are the right fit for you? I, I think that there is a really good young nucleus, and it seems like the players are hungry to uh, shed the, the feel of, of being the worst team in the league last year. I, I just think that, that they all feel they have something to prove, and uh, the city is hungry for this team to be successful and see progress, and I think it's a perfect time to uh, start taking steps in that direction. Now you've had a very successful coaching past, uh, a lot of them with uh, veteran teams with Charles Barkley and, and Kevin Johnson, Tom Chambers, a lot of great names in there. How does it change your approach when you have a young team that you're developing? Well, actually, I, I've been with some teams that have a lot of young players, too. I, with that Phoenix team, there was uh, Oliver Miller and Richard Dumas who made big impact on uh, our run to the finals, and Kevin Johnson and Dan Marley. and. Uh, some of the other players, Cedric Sabalos, they were young players when we got them. <laughs> they grew into yeah. veteran players. So uh, I think that, that uh, if you get players that, that realize that just because they're drafted, it doesn't mean they have it made. If, if they go to work after they get drafted to keep improving and listen to uh, sound advice and, and keep getting better, then uh, young players are easy to live with, especially in a situation where there's no pressure to win the NBA championship next year. I don't think people think the Kings are going to win the championship next year. They want to see improvement. And so you can judge these players and give them more playing time based on, on getting better rather than, say, with the Lakers, they're afraid to play a rookie because they might not have the, the, the best seating or whatever it is. We're just going to try to have guys grow, get confidence, learn how to play right, and uh, see how far we can take this. Now, you mentioned earlier the, the core, the nucleus that they have here with Kevin and Francisco and even Spencer and Jason in the, in the young front line. Uh, and I know the draft is coming up and free agency market is coming up. Are there any, and I know you haven't been here long, <laughs> but from what you've seen, is there any immediate needs that you uh, see for this team that are going to be addressed right away? Oh, I'm sure that we'll add uh, some, some ball handling help in the backcourt, and uh, I think that we need to add some defensive uh, uh, presence uh, up front and hopefully get a little better rebounding, whether it, if it comes from individual improvement or from bringing in another player. Uh, we can't be giving the other team extra shots uh, every game and expect to overcome that. And you're a very busy man. You've only been here, what, uh, less than 48 hours, correct? So you have a lot of things on your plate, but one of the things you're going to be addressing coming very soon is your assistance. Uh, what are there, the main things that you're looking for in assistance to help you develop this young? Well, there's person? so many things. Assistant coach, uh, co coaching, the, the assistant coaching position is, uh, <laughs> it's tough because you have to think like a head coach, but you can't.